Good evening, everyone. Should I just use my teacher voice? Let's do that. Welcome to the Academy of Music and Performing Arts at the Hamilton High School. My name is Jennifer Baxter, and I'm the proud principal of this amazing school. I want to welcome you. Thank you for coming out tonight. We are so excited to have this collaboration with the LA Master Chorale. And you will see our students tonight have written just amazing work to celebrate the oratorio project. And we had this collaboration. I want to thank our students, our performers, those in the background who put this amazing show together. I want to thank Chief um, e Education Officer Leslie Beard and her team. Where are you, Leslie? We always appreciate the advocacy of the arts because it's so important to us. I want to thank Michelle Espinosa, our magnet coordinator, who's here tonight. And especially our partners, some of our, our, our neighbors. We've got folks coming in from the neighborhood and just alumni. Who's alumni in the house here at Hamilton? Okay. To our parents who have worked so hard to support your children, to show up on Thursday nights, Wednesday nights, drive students to performances, everything that you do. We could not be this amazing school without your support. So to all the parents, thank you. <laughs> to our guests, we are celebrating Stonewall, the Oratorio Project. This is very near and dear to our hearts. A lot of work went into this. We're so excited. And I want to introduce Mr. Justin Braun. He's a brand new teacher at Hamilton, but just go ahead and start clapping. As a new choir director, you would never know he's a new teacher. He has an amazing presence. He's worked so diligently to work with our talented students. And I just want to introduce, we thank you for your work. He brings so much to our school. And just have a great evening. So, is it working there? How amazing. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Justin Braun. I am the choral director here at Hamilton. Um, what you're going to see tonight is a uh, culmination of six months of work. Um, the Los Angeles Master Corral came here early September and uh, brought their teaching artists and presented uh, this daunting project of crafting a 40 minute work um, entirely from scratch based on a historical event. And um, they wanted to pick something that would resonate with the students. And um, so we chose, uh, or, or rather the mass crowd chose uh, to do it on the Stonewall Uprising in the late 60s in New York. And, um, and it, more will be discussed in the video. Uh, that you're about to watch, but I'd love to make a couple of uh, thank yous. Um, thank you to Leslie Beard, the Chief Educational Officer of Mass Crowell. Thank you so much for that. Thank you to Jeff Hazel, uh, our Chief Storyteller. And, uh, and, uh, um, thank you to Alice Murray, who's not here tonight. Thank you to Sandra Choi, who is the composer of this whole project. Um, he is also a teaching artist and uh, has helped facilitate the composition process um, over these last six months. Um, I'm grateful to be here, and I'm grateful that you're out here supporting arts at Hemi and uh, in LA in general. Um, it's gonna be a lovely evening, so thank you for being here. Um, without further ado, we'll play the video. The Oratorio Project is a semester-long residency during which time high school students have the opportunity to work with professional teaching artists, a composer, a lyricist, and a performer. They get to investigate the classic form of an oratorio, that is with choruses, with solos, arias, narrative, figure out how it's put together, and then they put it together themselves. I always feel nervous on the first day before the oratorio because we don't know what the story is and you like really want it to be interesting so you feel passionate about what you're writing. 
because it takes over the whole semester. Like this is like our project. This program is about music and writing. The big thrust of this program is about collaboration. It may not be every idea that ends up in the songs at the end, but every idea gets us to the songs at the end. The Oratorio Project is super important because kids don't always think that they can create things. They feel like they can play other people's stuff, but they don't always tap into what they have inside of them. So this is an opportunity in a supportive environment to be told like, yeah, you can have a voice in this and everyone can have a voice in this. The Master Chorale has allowed us to really invest social justice in the stories that we've picked. Mm -hmm. And that's changed the shape of the oratorios, I think. My favorite thing about the oratorio is not just making music with these new groups of people, but it's also sharing an impactful message towards the community and being able to share the heartfelt work that we have put into it. I think this program is very good for bonding, not just for um, getting better at writing lyrics or music, it's also helpful with relationships. The Oratorio Project is such a gift to this world. I as a director feel overwhelmingly lucky and whether it's here at Van Nuys High School or any other school out there, this is one of the greatest programs that has ever been created. Today we're at Alexander Hamilton High School. This is our first time bringing the Oratorio Project to this school. This year's oratorio is inspired by the historic civil rights uprising when the gay and trans community fought back against the police at the Stonewall Inn in New York in 1969. It was essentially kind of a safe haven where a lot of people in the gay community could come and be themselves because this bar, which was owned by the mafia, wasn't subject to the normal rules that police had, which because it was illegal to be gay at the time. So when the cops came, it was a major blow. And so that's why there was this big uprising. And it was really like the first step in uh, LGBT rights activism. To me, this project has been kind of about stepping into a different perspective and putting my heart where others were in the past and even in the present. Today, we have so much more activism. We have so much more information. Everybody's a lot more open, at least in my generation. And it's really important to know where that all comes from, how that started. I thought it was very a very beneficial project to me as a human being to understand other people better and also get to know my peers and people that identify in the LGBTQ community that it just generates this community and this feeling of like belonging and just understanding other people which I very much value. I think this gave me like an appreciation for oratorios and works like that. The amount of time it takes, the amount of effort it takes, the challenges that we faced. Well, it's student written and that's a really big thing. Like we wrote it with the LA Master Chorale, that's really awesome. It's a really important story. It's very important to listen to the lyrics and to understand the message. There's a lot of music, a lot of power in some of these songs. It's not just songs individually. It's a whole show that we've made together. And so be ready to be with us on that ride.
upon my chest, hiding my hair, sleeping in two like father's closet, leaving my house. I'm sending out a truly mirrors on my mind. What possible?
silence is the